our hands and give God praise. In the name of Jesus, we know there is more than this. We ask you to help us tonight by the power that is in the name of Jesus. We are the desperate people. We want God. Psalms 80, please. We're going to be praying. Tonight is a prayer meeting. Psalms 80, verse 18, to prepare our spirit. The presence of God is strong in this place. There is grace to pray. Psalms 80, verse 18. Let's read it together. One to read. So we will not go back from thee. Quicken us. And we will call upon your name. You don't just pray because you want to pray. There is a grace. It's called the spirit of prayer and supplication. Hallelujah. Before we start tonight, we are going to be crying. That quickening. You will pray mechanically until that quickening comes. Are we together? So for the next few minutes, I want you to blast in tongues and shake every unbelief in your spirit. Please be serious. Be serious. Be serious. Go ahead and pray. Quicken us, O God, and we will call upon your name. Inside, outside, those following online, go ahead and pray. pray. Quicken us, O God. Shaka 
Tebo shoto bosu bataka tia daba. Nindo kusko poto shoto poko to bakata ba. Shaka daga daga daba kasa kata baka daga daba rada kata baka. Enkra daka daba rada kasha. Nenda broso to poko subatu sabaka. Nenda brada kata baka rada baka daga daba kata daga daba rada bosh. Shaka daka shaba daka daba tia. Enkra toko toko to baka shaka daba daga daba daba bosh. Nenda broso to poko to baka daba. Shaka daka daka daba. Unto you that answers prayer shall all flesh come. Charge your spirit man. Charge your spirit man. Shake away every unbelief. Shake away every unbelief. Man take to prosco to prakata. Shapari ke te ko sombri ke te ka te barakatiyama. Contend for the spirit of prayer and supplication. Shaka ta baraka ta preka ta bereda ka shikra ka ta barada bata. Anta kratos ko to pres ka ta preka shika ta barada ka. Shaka ria ka ta pres ka ta baria ta ko soto pres. Imbra ko to sko banti ka shaka re ka to sko priata. Shaka ta preka bereda ka soto preka ta balada ba. Embra ka ta ka re ka to soto preka ta mega embra ka ta balada ba kaska prata ka ti ka pasi ka te. Shikoto sapati anda kata pras kata baka Mara kata baka kata 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 Brem teka soto preke de barada balada ba Shaka ta preke ti barada balada ba kasa ta prete kate pa shi barata ka Shaka ta preke te barata su preke ti barada balada ba Im preke ta poko soto preke ta balada ba Rekata cross soto paria kata baka ta prega de bela de bos. Quicken us, quicken us, quicken us, oh God. Quicken us, oh God. The flesh may be weak, but the spirit is winning. Jekata krete kase kata praka ta bala da ba. Manda prate kasi gari katosi aba. We want to make contact with spiritual realities tonight. Jekata krete kase kate praka ta bala da ba ra ba ra da ba kasi. Imbra kata pras kata pras kata pras kata pras kata pras kata pras kata kata Manda bas ka pras kari kato so prege di barash kata Embri goto so prege te barada pras kata Lete bako shakama Palege bakama ragada Lete bako shakama Lete bako shakama Lete te paragama Lete te paragama Beti kapasha Palege baragama Bose Imbra to shakata pras kata 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 pras seriously tonight I want to teach you a mystery on how to command the attention of heaven I want you to pay attention there is a secret to answered prayer please listen give us James please James 4 we'll read from verse 1 to 3 
hearts. Cain and Abel offered sacrifices. But the sacrifice of Cain was rejected. And the sacrifice of Abel rose up to the heavens. And the Bible says God had respect for the sacrifice of Abel. And Cain was angry. And God said, if you do it correctly, if you do it correctly, there is a pattern. James 4 verse 1, we are reading down to 3. From whence cometh war and fightings among you? Come they not hence even from the lost that war in your members. Verse 2. Ye lost and have not. Ye kill and desire to have. And ye cannot obtain. Ye fight and war. Now read the remaining part. One to read. Yet ye have not because ye ask not. Verse 3. Ye ask and ye receive not. Why? Because ye ask amiss. Now listen. The word amiss there is out of pattern. Out of pattern. You are asking. You are praying. But there is a formula. There is a path that leads the request of a man to the throne of heaven. And this is what I want to show you. Let me tell you, your prayer life will be remarkably blessed. There is a way you pray that brings answers. There is a way you pray that will command the attention of heaven. If you don't know this, you can pray and feel spiritual and spit saliva from morning till night and not get any results. The prayer meetings in many ministries are poorly attended by because those who lead the prayers do not know what they are doing. There is an art of war. It says with wise counsel, make war. I want to show you four keys, four mysteries in the spirit that have helped my prayer life. I tell you, you will command results. You will command the attention of heaven if you learn this mystery. Are we together? Don't let anyone fool you that God answers every prayer. No. No. Hagar prayed. Her son cried. Both of them were talking to God. Only the prayer of Ishmael got to heaven. The Bible says, and God heard the cry of the young lad. He did not hear the lamentation of Hagar. Are we together? Another fact you must realize is that your tears touches God, but it does not move God. Uh -uh. The Bible says, for we do not have a high priest who cannot be touched, not moved with the feelings of our infirmities. He is touched. He sympathizes with us. But if God is to take any action on your behalf, it must be according to his pattern because he has exalted his word even above his name. Are we together? Pray one minute violently. Open my eyes. As these mysteries come, oh God, may they not just be informations. May they be spirit and life. Spirit and life. Pray. Pray. By your mercy, oh God, open our eyes. Shapakata prescata prandega subrata. Pray. Zekete praska barada bakabiyaba. We are praying already. Holy, holy, holy. Shekete. Holy, holy, holy. Holy, holy, holy. Holy, holy, holy. Is the Lord God Almighty? Is the Lord God Almighty? My life is full of your glory. My life is full of your glory. This house is full of your glory. And the people say, Holy, holy, holy. I 
And the people say, Holy, 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 holy. And your people say, Holy, 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 is the Lord, is the Lord God Almighty. Is the Lord God. Hallelujah. Listen. Please open up your spirit to these four keys that I will be sharing with you. The first key that governs the mystery of answered prayer is that before your prayer touches the throne room, it must be heartfelt. The first key to the kind of prayer and petition that will move heaven is the prayer that moves you first are we together let me assure you that God is not playing games with men if your prayer cannot move you it will not move heaven are we together the Bible says James chapter 5 please give us verse 15 if you can give us from Amplified James 5 16. We have to really be fast. There's a lot of prayer tonight. There's a lot of prayer. James 5 16. 16. 16. I like us to read. It says, Confess to one another, therefore, your faults, your slips and false steps, and so on and so forth. And pray also for one another that you may be healed and restored. I want us to read the B part from the earnest. Ready? One to read. The earnest heartfelt continued prayer of a righteous man does what makes tremendous power available dynamic in its working the bible was teaching us how to pray the kind of prayer that will touch heaven and it's in the character of scripture to use a figure that typifies god's idea of prayer then he says elijah in this example was a man of like passion and the bible says he prayed earnestly that there be no rain for a space of three and a half years elijah shut the heavens and put the key in his pocket he said there shall be no rain except at my word and then the bible says when it was time for the rain to fall right elijah began to pray he prayed the first time putting his head beneath his knees and he cried and traveled let me tell you the kind of prayer that touches heaven is the kind of prayer where you pray and forget who is by your side you're not looking at makeup or suits or conscious of whether i'm sweating no 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 it must be heartfelt from the depth of your spirit are we together hannah kept crying every time at shiloh but a time came she prayed a heartfelt prayer the Bible says before the altar she poured her soul to a point that Eli the prophet said why is this woman drunk how can you come to the altar drunk and he said my Lord I am not drunk but a woman that is pouring her soul before God and the Spirit of God spoke through the prophet let me tell you something the kind of prayer that shakes heaven is prayer that is heartfelt the way a lot of believers pray you will know that you do not expect an answer are we together yeah you pray with all your heart the bible says jesus prayed at gethsemane it was so heartfelt his sweat was like drops of blood same prayer without changing it three times and he sustained strength from heaven and was ready for the cross are we together are you ready to pray as I mentioned, the key will pray. And at the end of the fourth key, I will give us some prayer requests. And we will pray. Heartfelt prayer. Heartfelt prayer. When we say pray, you see a lot of people strolling around, chewing gums. Huh? 
you see that kind of prayer let me tell you something i'm not being religious with you there is a law you are contending against forces it's like an aeroplane attempting to ride it must move and the law of aerodynamics must sustain capacity to overcome the law of gravity the flesh has its encumbrances and the moment you begin to pray the flesh will exert a weight upon you but it takes power everybody say power as you generate power in the spirit it's like a flight your flesh is weak you are feeling sleepy but you understand the law of spiritual superiority that as it is in the spirit so it will manifest your spirit is strong but the bible says the flesh is weak it's up to you to yield to the weakness of the flesh and not pray or keep praying you don't receive strength to continue praying it is in the prayer all of a sudden when your flesh is weak have you prayed to a point that you did not even expect you had strength for 10 minutes keep praying as you keep praying, you are weak the devil keeps sending all kinds of thoughts in your mind just keep praying the secret is to continue i tell you there is an escape velocity in the spirit there is a level you will get to that it will no longer be your flesh at that level the spirit of god takes over lift your voice and pray blast in tongues a heartfelt prayer walk around don't just sit at your seat scrolling carelessly oh we are ascending we are ascending we are ascending in the realm of the spirit above and beyond the realms of the limitations of the flesh I assure you your spirit is willing I assure you your spirit man is willing your spirit man is willing your spirit man is willing forget about the limitation of the flesh with time it will bow with time it must bow there is a supply of grace and spirit power upon you grace to travel make a the heartfelt, effectual, heartfelt, effectual, heartfelt, effectual, heartfelt, effectual, heartfelt, effectual. Generate power, power, generate power to dislodge every force, generate power to contend with every altar, generate power to confront gates, generate power to confront doors. Generate power to force answers. I worship you with all my heart. With all my heart. I worship you. With all my heart, with all my heart, Lord, I worship you. With all my heart, with all my heart. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah hallelujah now listen i want to teach you the legal dimension of prayer are we together there is there is a judicial dimension of prayer 
is the Lord that governs petitions. Are we together? There is a name that God is called. And prayer activates the operation of that dimension. He is called the judge. Are we together? I want to teach you the legal dimension of prayer. The key to effective prayer, the kind of petition and supplication that will touch heaven is the kind that must be done in the name of Jesus. The name of Jesus is the access code to the throne room. The access code, the mystery that opens the gates of the throne room is the name of Jesus. John 14, quickly please. John 14 verse 13. The name of Jesus is the access code. There is no other name that can open the heavens. It says, and I give us in, in um, um, King James, King James, please. It says, and whatsoever ye shall ask in your name, in the name of a ministry, it says, whatsoever ye shall ask for as long as you do it in my name he says that will i do i will supervise see to it that because my name is upon it i will make sure it is answered that the father may be glorified whatsoever you ask in my name chapter 16 verse 23 same john 16 verse 23 Go ahead and read it. It's projected. Inside and outside. One to read. And in that day, ye shall ask me nothing. Verily, verily, I say unto you, uh -huh, whatsoever ye shall ask the Father in my name, he will give it you. The name of Jesus is the access code. Are we together? The attention of the Father is only attracted when any man stepping in the name standing in the office and upon the strength of that which christ has done the name of jesus a representation of his finished work and his legal standing before god is the same basis we have the bible says let us therefore come before him boldly access the throne of grace boldly not in our righteousness not based on our goodness are we together but we stand upon the name the name of jesus is a representation of all that christ did the name of jesus reminds the father of the revelation of what jesus did which is a revelation of his love for man listen you will never get anything from god based on your self-righteousness it's got to be the law of petition is that you must stand in the righteousness of christ to be heard because the bible says our righteousness is as filthy rags so we come in his name not based on our qualification are we together we are going to pray and say father i make these petitions tonight as touching your righteousness as touching your love as touching your willingness to answer me lift your voice and pray go ahead and pray Go ahead and pray. The name of Jesus. Shaka paroko sopre ke nebe ne de bos. Shaka paroko sopre ke nebe ne Oh, it's in the name of Jesus that we come tonight. Jesus. It's in the name of Jesus that we come tonight. It's in the name of Jesus that we come tonight. It's not in the name of a man. It's not in the name of an idol. Shabakata parada bakata, shakata prekata le pakoro kusu. Shabarata kata bara. It's in the name of Jesus. 
Jesus. It's in the name of Jesus. 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 Something special, supernatural about your name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Number three, listen. If you must pray the kind of prayer that heaven will respond to, then that prayer must be in accordance to the will of God. Now, don't play with this. This is where I believe a lot of people get cheated in the ministry of prayer. Their prayer may be heartfelt. Their prayer may be in the name of Jesus, but it's often not in accordance to the will of God. Listen, when you begin to make petitions in the realm of the spirit, imagine yourself standing in a law court. Give us Isaiah 41 verse 21. Listen to what the prophet teaches us about prayer. Isaiah 41 verse 21, please. Everyone, please read. One, two, go. Produce your cause, saith the Lord. Bring forth your strong reasons, saith the king of Jacob. Why should the door be open to you? Bring forth your strong reason. The prayer of lamentation only gives you a psychological consolation, but I assure you it will not touch heaven. Every challenge in your life is the accuser's voice over your destiny. And if you are to speak, you are standing before that court of justice. Your petition, on what ground should I be blessed? Father, your word says, if I am willing and obedient, I will eat the good of the land. Lord, I am willing and have been obedient to your principles. Therefore, I deserve to eat the good of the land. I place a demand on the strength of this reality. That's how to pray. You don't pray emotional prayer. You don't stand on stage and speak opinions and talk nonsense. The only thing that challenges the voice of the accuser is the word of God which is a testament of his will show me why God must give you a child show me why God must give you a child are we together show me why God must give you a job show me why God must give you a husband because I'm beautiful it's not in the Bible are we together? It's in your brain, but it's not in the Bible. Show me why witchcraft must stop attacking my family. Bring forth your strong reasons. Let me show you one more scripture. I found this today and it blessed me. Isaiah 43 verse 26. Learn this. I'm teaching you the, the legal dimension of prayer. Isaiah 43 verse 26. Please read. One to read. Put me in remembrance. Let us plead together. Declare thou on the strength of what we have discussed that ye may be justified. It's your Bible. The word put me in remembrance does not mean I have forgotten. Give me a basis to respond upon your life. Like you tell a judge in the constitution subsection this it says this and that and the judge says this is true put me in remembrance let us plead together I'm a judge who is there to protect you but give me the basis so that I can make that decree we pray a lot of careless prayer prayer that is not word based if you are a pastor here don't allow anybody climb your mic and teach nonsense and teach opinions it must be on the basis of the word if we are praying for Nigeria what is the basis just because we want to intercede is rubbish it looks spiritual but it will not be answered you see the difference between a shrine a herbalist and a christian who prays are we together please take seriously it looks like a little secret 
but it's a powerful one when you find it something that is a basis you can hold on to it when you read Isaiah 38 the Bible talks about a man called Ezekiel I mean Hezekiah and the Bible says prophet Isaiah came and told Hezekiah pack up your things you will not recover from this sickness you will die but Hezekiah knew that if you fund the project of the building of the Lord's house the devourer should be far from you you should live long Hezekiah turned his face to the wall and began to plead on the strength of his sacrifice to heaven have you read in your Bible the basis upon which the baptism of the Gentiles happened in the house of a man called Cornelius he said Cornelius there is a reason why I'm visiting your house your giving your arms and your prayer you have supported the cause of the kingdom there was a woman who died in the Bible called Dorcas when she died there was a basis to bring her back to life the widow said look she sold clothes for us and, and, and I don't know was it Paul or, or, or Peter now Peter had to say no 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 there is a basis for this woman to return back I want to ask you a question why do you think you should not suffer in 2016 because I'm a Christian you are joking they are a kind of people that the Bible says he reproves kings for them are you part of it before you claim a blessing find out whether you qualify for the conditions the Bible does not talk to everybody in the Bible demons spoke donkey spoke where is your rema where is the word that you will use as your basis are we together when they stopped Daniel from praying the scripture pastor Alpha shared listen when Solomon dedicated the temple part of the covenant he entered with God was that anyone who turned to the Jerusalem temple let that be a basis Lord remember the seeds that were used to build this temple this temple remains an altar representing the sacrifice of men so whoever turns to it remember men sold their things to raise this as a memorial and when they wanted to destroy Daniel if Daniel prayed closing his room he would have died for nothing he opened the window onto Jerusalem and he started praying and when they caught him God said will I now violate my word and he sent an angel to protect them are we together don't pray serious prayer until you gather the spiritual arsenals that are responsible you've been burying you don't just stand up and say I, I, Lord I want a child what is all this nonsense that's not prayer it's called grumbling and complaining it's called murmuring read Hebrews 2, 3, 4 and see what happened to people who murmured the earth opened and swallowed them what is the basis Lord I want my church to grow just because you think you're a Nigerian no, there must be a basis many Christians don't read their Bibles they don't study the word. They don't know the provision that is made for them. Many preachers read the Bible just to preach. They read the part that is responsible for their sermon. You must be well equipped with the word. When Satan struck, Jesus said, it is written. This is the basis. This is the basis. Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word and Satan said is true. You have been attacking without scriptures. You have been attacking emotionally. Satan, get thee behind me. And he will ask, why? He says, lift up your heads, O ye gates. The gates replied, who is this king of glory? Why should I open up? And they said, the Lord strong and mighty. You must pray according to the word. Let me give us the last key. The Bible says to always wrap up your prayer with thanksgiving. A very simple but powerful mystery. Philippians chapter 4 from verse 6 to 7. It says be anxious for nothing. Right? Be anxious.
anxious for nothing but in everything he says by prayer and supplication then with it thanksgiving he says make your request known make your request known be anxious for nothing but in everything as you pray not by complaining make your request with, with thanksgiving when jesus lifted five loaves and two fish he didn't say lord are you watching your name go down the drain the bible says he gave thanks thanksgiving thanksgiving right thanksgiving thanksgiving confidence this is the confidence we have the moment we ask anything in his name he will do it so you say lord i thank you because i know that this is done i thank you because i know this is done and let me tell you you want to take it to another dimension you can pray a prayer that is just full of thanksgiving no complaint lord jesus i thank you the bible says for with joy shall you draw out of the wells there are dimensions that salvation brings but joy is the key joy is the key that's why depression is associated with failure joy in the holy ghost are we together we are going to pray we are going to pray use the the next few minutes to travel seriously please i am pleading with you be serious be serious be serious don't don't when i say be serious i don't mean stand up or sit down that's not or, or shout or lie down that's not what i'm saying put your heart in this thing that's why we never give you a prayer request here without giving you a scriptural backing that's the difference between herbal herbal witchcraft and herbal solution and a scriptural solution are we together you make petitions not according to your pain oh god i've been crying till now and god says no there is a system please hear me cain and abel were brothers they both offered sacrifices one was accepted one was rejected that you are in a great house like this is no guarantee i feel like giving you one more key let me share with you one more key one mystery listen one mystery of answered prayer listen please is praying with the consciousness of the covenant that governs the spiritual house the spiritual tribe and the man of god who supplies grace and faith for you now listen this is very powerful you can make petitions on the strength of the covenant God has with a man. Are we together? This is the revelation of the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of Jacob. What is it about them? There was a covenant. That was why God had the prayer of Ishmael. Although Ishmael was a son that came by mistake, that was not God's business. There was still a covenant connection. And when Ishmael cried, God had Abraham and remember the covenant. Are we together? You can make petitions in heaven on the strength of access that has come when, listen, listen, the move of God on earth is through covenants. God finds a man that represents his program for a season and enters a covenant with that man and whoever associates with that man is open to that dimension God had a covenant with that man with. So you can access open heavens on the strength of the personal covenant that God had with a man or God had with a house. That was Daniel's secret. There was a covenant that God had with the temple in Jerusalem. Elijah had a covenant with God. And when Elijah knew his personal faith could not get this, he said, where is the Lord God? Of Elijah Lord I approach this thing not just on my personal faith I come based on the personal covenant that you have it's not witchcraft it can be exaggerated but when it is understood you will receive tremendous results there are people riding on the wings of the tears of people are we together 
when the devil afflicted Papa Oyedeko's wife demons he was casting out of some people refused to leave his wife he prayed on the strength of his secret place as an apostle and a prophet of God and that situation seemed to defy him and then they went to Papa Adeboye his spiritual father and Adeboye said Lord I have a covenant with you that I will not bury any of my children remember that covenant that devil gave way at once he gave way listen there are altars that can speak for men it's a provision in the kingdom to give you easy breakthrough are we together if you do not understand this you will die like a chicken not every result is on the basis of your personal faith you can invoke covenants and God is a God that is a covenant keeping God there are men and women on earth on the strength of certain assignments that God gave them there are ministries that God entered a personal covenant with them it's a covenant of answered prayer let me tell you one of the covenants that is in koinonia it's a covenant of answered prayer that's why we submit prayer request it's a revelation God gave me we bring every threat before God and every issue that is brought before God will command open heavens that's why you find out as we pray you begin to see manifestations it's not just about spiritual growth it's a covenant it's a covenant let me tell you God does not answer me ministerially just because I am anointed there is a covenant that's why you hear us sing that song my altar is calling you there is an altar there is a secret place one covenant we have with God in this ministry is that we will never beg for bread are we together God gave me an instruction one time and I put one one thousand naira on the ground plenty up to hundred thousand and the Lord said walk on it and pray and I walked on it and prayed through the night it was a covenant of wealth not personal covenant a covenant that covered everything that no matter what it is God will shake the heavens and raise help us that's why you hear testimonies like this our brother it's not a result from personal faith he's even surprised where will 7.5 million come it's a power of covenant at a point in our prayer tonight we will pray not on the strength of your personal faith Lord remember the ministry I'm part of Lord remember what I'm doing I'm showing you deep keys so you don't just pray foolishly and not get results rise up on your feet and let's pray my altar is calling you oh god my altar is calling you oh god my secret place is calling you oh god take my praise take my praise is calling you hey, hey. take my praise take my praise is calling you one more time let's sing it my altar is calling you oh god my altar my altar hallelujah praise God we are going to pray listen the first prayer point for time's sake we are going to be challenging the gates of limitation in our lives we will pray for Nigeria but I want you to pray and challenge the gates. He said, who are that mountain? Before Zerubbabel. Are we together? Who are thou mountain? Before Zerubbabel. He said, before Zerubbabel. Thou shalt be made plain. Right? And that will happen at the shout. Grace, grace. Lift your voice and challenge every mountain. In the name of Jesus. Come on, pray, pray. Pray. speak to the mountain the bible says if you speak to that mountain it will give way if you speak kabatalapatia oh i speak i speak i speak i prophesy 
I command limitation in my life. You must bow in the name of the Lord Jesus. I command every limitation mocking the grace of God in my life. Every limitation mocking the power of God in my life. I challenge you in the name of Jesus. I command that Dagon, you must bow. I command that Dagon, you must bow. I command that Dagon, you must bow. That Dagon of joblessness, that Dagon of poverty, that Dagon of stagnation. Oh, I command you, I command you in the name of the Lord God, whose I am and whom I serve. I command you, I command you, I command you. Hallelujah. 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 The Bible says, If thou shalt say to this mountain, not any mountain, the mountain has a name, you must call it. Don't say, God bless me. God favor me. No, no, no. You need to be specific. Lord, I am tired of stagnation in this area. Mention it and command what you want to do. The Bible says, declare ye that thou mayest be justified. Lift your voice and pray. Command it. Call it by name. Poverty. I call you by name. Barrenness. I call you by name. I command you. Clear up my path. Limitation. I call you by name. I call you by name. I call you by name. You are a devil. I command you to give way. I tell you, mountains are moving. Mountains are moving. They must move. They must move. There is grace tonight. Challenge them. Call them by name. Rakatatata. Bekete They must move. If thou shalt say to this mountain, if thou shalt say to this mountain, Rapata. Oh, I command you, I command you, I command you. That Dagon, you must leave God's people tonight. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Are we together? There is a mystery that exempts men from the plagues and the perils that come upon the earth. It is never in God's idea that you suffer what the world is suffering. Uh -uh. But there is a mystery of exemption. There are certain things that are written judgments. You cannot stop the judgment. It must come. But what happens is that there is an exemption. When the flood was about to come, he told Noah, build an ark. This flood, no one can stop it from coming. But I can exempt you. Build an ark. 
are we together pharaoh had a dream a famine was coming after seven years nothing will stop it but there was a mystery a strategy was revealed to to joseph all through scripture there have been famines in samaria there was famine but the prophet was not hungry there was a mystery that sustained him when it was time for breakthrough he knew what to do the bible says there was a particular location please hear me hear me you have to convince yourself that you are different don't call what they call conspiracy conspiracy the bible says when men say there is a casting down are we together we want to challenge that spirit that wants to include you in the sufferings that people are going through agreed there's a lot of financial hardship agreed there's a lot of downsizing but do you not know that when men say there is a casting down for you there is a lifting up you've got to believe it are we together are we together isaiah 45 verse 1 and 3 quickly please media help us isaiah 45 my spirit is fired up thus saith the lord to his anointed cyrus whose right hand i have holden i have to subdue nations before him what did god say he will do i will lose the loins of kings to open before him the two lift gates and he says the gate shall not be shut next verse i will go before you say amen, amen. the last time god went before certain people in praise when they got there they found out the people had died when God goes before you, he makes every crooked path straight. He says, I will go before you and make the crooked places, what? Straight. I will break in pieces. Come on now. That's what happens when God is before you. I will break in pieces. He didn't say I will open. I will break it in pieces. And cut in sunder the brass of iron. This is a prophecy for you now. Verse 3. Ay, 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 ay. and i will give you the treasures of darkness hold on listen there are treasures reserved for times of recession they are called treasures of darkness they are not the one you see with your physical eyes they are reserved the moment there is famine god will say come there is a brook cherry for you i can lead you to a place i like you to pray and say lord I invoke the mystery of exemption upon my life I cannot be part of the tears of men lift your voice and pray it's for your glory pray for myself for my family are you praying koinonia I will give you the treasures of darkness the hidden riches of secret places the treasures of darkness the hidden riches you're not wasting your time i exempt myself hallelujah 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 look at me there are two instruments of exemption from scripture are we together the first instrument of exemption is the blood when the last plague was about to be revealed he told them he said get a lamb cut that lamb drain the blood put it upon your lintel whether you have personal faith or not that's not the issue once i see the blood i pass by listen it was a mystery as far as the angel of death was concerned he killed everybody but when he got to some homes they were already dead and so he passed 
there was no need killing them the blood was a sign that someone had died for them and so the angel passed and everywhere he did not see a blood. let me tell you there is a mark upon the saints please hear me this thing you call recession and suffering is a spirit it has eyes it knows where to go to are we together i'd like you to pray and plead the blood for the purpose of exemption upon your life and your family lift up your voice and pray oh plead the blood the blood is a weapon of supernatural exemption from accident supernatural exemption from terrorism supernatural exemption from wickedness supernatural exemption from the assaults of darkness no 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 death no death it's still a glorious year multiplied grace influence by the power of the holy ghost hallelujah hallelujah are we praying the second instrument of exemption is called favor the second instrument of supernatural exemption is called favor Are we together? Psalm 45. My altar is calling you. 44, sorry, verse 3, quickly. Psalm 44. We are going to read Psalm 44, verse 3. Then we will go to 41 from verse 9 to 11. Please take note, media. 44, verse 3. Then we will go to 41 from verse 9 to 11. Read with me Psalm 44, verse 3. One to read. For they got not the land in possession by their own sword. Neither did their own arm save them. But thy right hand, thine arm, the light of thy countenance what was the mystery that made that happen because thou 41 from verse 9 to 11 please read it yea my own familiar friend in whom I trusted which did eat of my bread had lifted up his heel against me does that look like the times we live in betrayal of people next verse but thou, O oh God, be merciful unto me and raise me up that I may requite them. How will that happen? Next verse. Because my enemy. So every time your enemy wants to triumph, favor is not just for collecting things. It's an instrument for triumph. Lift your voice and say, Lord, let favor exempt me lift your voice and pray the wickedness of men to destroy us the betrayal of men to mock our god including those close to us they may be family members but he says oh god this is how i will know that you have favored me when my enemies do not triumph over me Maria, na 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 mos. 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Don't be tired while praying. Don't be tired. Isaiah 54, please. Isaiah 54. We are reading the first three verses. We want to challenge stagnation and barrenness of every kind. It's time for you to move forward. Are we together? Want to read? Sing, O barren that did not bear. It says, Break forth into singing and cry aloud, thou that did not travail with child. It says, For more are the children of the desolate than the children of the married wife, said the Lord. Verse 2 Hallelujah. Enlarge the place of thy tent and let them stretch forth the curtains of thy habitation. It says, Spare not. Enlarge, lengthen thy cord and lengthen thy stakes. Why? Verse 3. For thou shalt break forth on the right hand and on the left, and thy seed shall inherit the Gentiles and make the desolate cities. I like us to pray. We are going to pray the prayer of Jabez. Oh God, enlarge my territory. Lift your voice and pray. This dimension, this level, take me higher, take me deeper, enlarge my coast, increase my influence, enlarge my coast, increase my influence. Hallelujah. 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 There is a way men get preserved. The next half of the month is often the time that comes with catastrophe. People dying like chickens anyhow. Headache sending people to their grave. Let me show you two verses that will settle the issue of the fear divine preservation. God is committed to his word. Isaiah 65 verse 18. Read it with all your heart. And then we'll go to verse 19. And read down to 24 or 23. Are we together? Everybody read please. Verse 8. Verse 8. Did I say 18? I'm sorry. Verse 8. 65 verse 8. Go ahead, read. One to read. As the new wine is found in the cluster, and one saith, destroy it not. Why? For there is a blessing in it. So will I do for my servant's sake, that I may not destroy them all. So as the destroyer is going around, there are some people. He says, because there is a blessing. He said, destroy it not. Are we together? Go to verse 19. Verse 19, same verse. We are reading down to 23. I want you to receive it and believe it with all your heart. And I will rejoice in Joshua Selman and joy in my people and the voice of weeping shall no more be heard in her. Not the voice of what? Next verse. There shall be no more than infant of days. Hold on. Premature death. There shall be no more infant of days. He says, nor an old man that has not what? Filled his days. He says, for a child will be how old? It's in your Bible. For a child shall die a hundred years old, but a sinner being a hundred years old shall be accursed. 21 we are reading down to 23 and they shall build houses and inhabit them listen when the waster comes it makes you labor when it's time to enjoy something happens but he said they shall build houses and inhabit them they shall plant fine yards and then they shall eat of them 22 
for as the days of a tree are the days of my people and my elect shall long enjoy the works of their hands last verse you are going to pray and say Lord by the blessing preserve me the blessing upon my life preserves me supernaturally lift your voice and pray preserving you from destruction destroy it not for there is a blessing upon it destroy it not for there is a blessing upon it destroy it not destroy it not there is a blessing destroy it not there is a blessing hallelujah hallelujah we are going to pray for Nigeria hallelujah by the grace of God we are not only spiritual people we are agents of national transformation are we together we are not irresponsible citizens in this nation it's obvious that the leaders and the governments of nations are confused they act bold but we know they do not know what they are doing and we're not surprised because the Bible said so. Are we together? But let me show you a scripture as we pray for Nigeria. It's a scripture that will bless you. Shibarakoto Supratia. Isaiah 62. We're going to read verse 6. And we're going to read verse 7. Then we will go to verse 1. 6 and 7. Go ahead and read want to read i have set watchmen upon thy walls O nigeria which shall never hold thy peace day or night keep not silent god is saying i want to move but i have set up certain people whose voice must be heard before i move he called them watchmen they are upon the walls and he says do not keep quiet he says give him no rest ah. till he establish till he makes Nigeria a place of the earth give him no rest make that petition make that petition verse 1 for Zion's sake I will not hold my peace and for Jerusalem's sake I will not rest until the righteousness thereof go forth as brightness and the salvation thereof as a lamp that burneth. Let's read verse 2 and 3. It's a prophecy about Nigeria. And the Gentiles shall see thy righteousness and all kings thy glory and thou shalt be called by a new name which the mouth of the Lord shall name. The last verse. Thou shalt also be a crown of glory in the hand of God and a royal diadem. Listen, we all know that there is a prophecy about Nigeria. I've taught it here in one of the messages. Are we together? Nigeria is not just a country. Nigeria is a holy land. Nigeria is to Africa what Jerusalem is to the world. Are we together? You can accurately use Nigeria as a spiritual map to gauge the happenings of God. Nigeria is the firstborn of God upon Africa. I've shared it again and again. The name Nigeria is a mystery. It was not, it was not just an amalgamation uh, of the northern and southern protectorate by Lord Lugard. It was a mystery. Are we together? There's no room I would have shown you in Isaiah 18 the prophecy about Nigeria 
that speaks about a people, a dark-skinned people coming far from Ethiopia is a prophecy about what will begin to happen to Nigeria. Are we together now? I have seen it many times in the visions of God that there will come an arising of men and women who will do great and mighty things for the kingdom. Are we together? That's the reason why when you look at the map of Nigeria, you will see a mystery there. The letter Y is the name of God upon Nigeria. It's a coded language. It's not River Niger and Benway. Listen, it is a code like Julius Baga will build a building and put their mark. He put his mark upon Nigeria. Water is one of the five elements of the supernatural through which God speaks to men. And he used water to write his name and that confluence meets in a place called Lokoja. The word Ja is the ancient name. Yah is God's own name. It's not the name of a state. It's God's prophecy about Nigeria. Lift your voice and say, Lord, it's time for the prophetic destiny of this nation to arise. Lift your voice and pray. Kapatagarika. Nigeria. God's firstborn. Nigeria. The holy land. God's land. Nigeria. God's own nation. Nigeria. God's own nation. Lord, we command every spirit. Lord, we command every power. We prophesy to the north. We prophesy to the east. Hallelujah. Listen. Listen. Every kingdom has a headquarters. The headquarters in every kingdom is the spiritual point of reference. The throne room is the point of reference in heaven. Everything in heaven emanates from the throne room. It is God's administrative center of activity. Are we together? Washington DC is the administrative center. Abuja is the administrative center. Prophetically speaking, God has a prophetic center. In Mount Zion, the side of the north, the city of the great king. There is a location men can stand and prophesy from that point. He says promotion comes not from the east or the west or the south. He never mentioned the north. The Bible says he are compounds this mountain long enough. He said turn ye northwards. Even in geography there is what we call true north. There is a mystery to it. We are standing here in the north. Prophetically speaking we have a territorial advantage. Listen. I want you to take advantage. I'm teaching you deep prophetic mysteries of intercession. You don't just pray foolishly. Your soil is marching the north. The earth is one of the elements of the supernatural. There are five of them. The first is the wind responsible for sound. The second is fire. The third is water. The fourth is the earth. The fifth is light. Every spiritual communication of God comes through these conduits and the earth is a universal point of contact we are standing in the north from this point he said from where thou art lift up your eyes i like us to prophesy to the borders of nigeria we are standing upon the north the side of the north the city of the great king stretch your hands to the heavens speak to the gates we call our gates peace we command the spiritual borders of this nation to be secured, secured from terrorism. We command peace upon our walls, peace upon our gates. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We'll soon round up. We're praying. 
I want us to pray for our families. Many of our family members are confused. No matter how much you succeed in life, if your family members don't catch along, they will draw you back. Are we together? Are we together? We are going to pray. There are many families suffering. You see a family of 10 people, only one breadwinner. It's a cause. Are we together? It's a cause. But we are going to pray. There are many families that are dead. Once upon a time they were rich. Once upon a time they were blessed. Once upon a time they were walking. Now they were dead. In Ezekiel 37, it says, Son of man, can these bones live? They were an army. They were a family one time. But something happened and they died. They lost their structure. But he says, Son of man, if you want them to come to life, prophesy. He said, I prophesied as I was commanded. The instrument we will use in our families right now is prophecy. I like you to prophetically call everything dead in your family. They can live again. Open your mouth and prophesy. Open your mouth and prophesy. I call every dead thing in my family. Come back to life. Come back to life. Every dead business. Come back to life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, look up, please. We're rounding up. We're coming back to ourselves now to pray. Please listen. I have taught us again and again. There is a law that governs greatness. Please hear me. There is a law that governs being relevant. As powerful as prayer is, the Bible says, the gift of a man make it room for him the gift of a man the price to come out of the realm of struggle is the price to ascend in value for as long as you are on the begging side you will remain a slave forever are we together for as long as you are in the begging side please hear me I don't want to fool you not everybody is feeling the heat in Nigeria. There are people whose value and gift is too great for them to feel any heat. Are we together? There are people, this is the best year so far for them. No, no, no. I, I'm not saying by faith. It literally is. Every day is Christmas for them because their gift cannot but open doors. Listen, the greatest gift a man can have is the anointing of the Holy Spirit. You don't refrigerate it. You don't have to wear suits for it to work. It doesn't need battery. It doesn't need voting. Oh, come on. A man who pays the price to carry the power of the Holy Ghost is a man who will never beg for bread. A man who will never die in complex. Seek for a man who is discreet and wise. That you may set him over the affairs of Egypt. And they checked around. There was no man anointed enough. Except Joseph. And at once he became a prime minister. Are we together? Everybody needs the power, the unction. The anointing of the Holy Spirit. With all due respect and with all humility and to the glory of God, I will never beg till Jesus comes. It will never, it's not, no, 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 no. It's not a prophecy. I'm not prophesying. I'm telling you what will never happen under the sun again. Even if one gallon of oil is 10,000, I will never beg again. You know why? Because for as long as there is one demon roaming around the earth, my life is still useful. You may not like me, but there is a treasure in earthen vessels. 
and every time you are buffeted by hell you will need what I represent question who is ready to pay you for what you carry if there is no man willing to pay you for what you carry you will feel the heat of what is happening in this country I don't want to deceive you we cry because we think we are carrying degrees and so government should give us jobs no it doesn't work that way are we together in any economy listen in any economy private organizations are the ones responsible for employment there is only so much the government can do and private enterprises are very few in Nigeria and Africa and they are at their state of infancy they do not have the capacity to employ labor and reduce unemployment waiting for government to help you is a mirage there is a mystery Job said there is a path which no fowl knoweth. the webs of the lion has not gotten there there is something a man can carry that will make you useful men will pay you and call it a privilege fill me up Till I overflow, I want to go. Fill me up. Till I overflow, I want to run over. I want to run over. Sing it one more time. Lord, put something upon my life that will force men to look for me. Lift your voice and pray. Place an anointing, oh God, upon my life. Place an ability. Come on, pray. An anointing. That will cause Gentiles to come to your light, their kings to the brightness of thy rising. Pray an unction from heaven, an ability. That makes me an endangered species. An unction from the throne room that will make men seek me. Pray, pray, pray. Pray. Shakata prakata rekotosh. Hallelujah. 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 Mark chapter 1, verse 36 and 37. We are going to pray. You must be relevant. It takes a gift. It takes value to be relevant. There is what can make men look for you. You have been looking for men. Stop looking for men. Look for grace. Grow to become valuable. Are we ready? No, 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 not Proverbs 18, 16. That's not what I said. Mark chapter 1, please. Mark 1, 36, 37. He said, and Simon and they that were with him did what? Followed after him. And this is what happened. Next verse. May that be your prophecy in Jesus' name. Go ahead and read it. One to read. And when they had found him, they said unto him, all men seek for thee. What is it that you must carry? That will make men look for you. They will travel from Lagos and say, Pastor Alpha, you are the only one carrying what I need. Lift your voice and cry. Lord, every potential locked up in me, every gifting, every idea that will make men look for me to come with their treasures, to come with their bounties, every unction, every prophetic anointing, every healing anointing, every teaching grace every entrepreneurial ability every leadership ability every intellectual prowess that will force men to look for me i cry for a release 
I cry for an activation. I'm tired of looking for help. I am tired of begging men. Oh God, activate a grace upon my life. Shabakatata. Pray from your heart. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We're rounding up. We're going to sing this song, God's Ability. Sing it with all your heart and I want to prophesy upon you. Are we together? There is an unction that can come upon you. Can come upon your business. Can come upon your academics. Can come upon your life. You may be gifted, but it's your gift anointed. It's one thing to be gifted, but it's another thing for that gift to have an anointing. When little brings much, it is anointed. When much brings much, it is scientific. When much brings little, it is demonic. But when little brings much, it has to be supernatural. God's is working in me. Is working in me. That's what you see lifting this ministry recession proof pain proof stress proof by the unction of the spirit rising like an edifice as though satan does not exist by a mystery no gate of hell can unravel what can it be it's god's ability God's ability is working in me. Hallelujah. I want to pray for you, but I want to speak some blessings upon you. It says, Early will I seek you to see your power and your glory in my life as I have seen in the sanctuary. It's one thing to see the hand of God in a sanctuary. Help her, please. And then it's another thing to see it in your life. It's one thing to see God move in koinonia. But it's another thing to see it work in your life. I want to pray for you. No, no. Something must land in your life. Please. I want you to believe this with all your heart. One of the gifts that God has given us in this ministry is the gift of helpers. We never raise a voice to cry without somebody answering. And it was a light God gave me. It says you will call on man and a nation will answer. I want to pray for you. There is an unction that makes men come to your aid. In the name of Jesus. Right now by the power of the Holy Ghost. In this night of prayer. I release that anointing. All over the building. Inside and outside. Receive that anointing right now. Receive that anointing right now. Receive that unction right now. The unction that draws help us. I tell you, fire is falling on people. The unction from heaven that calls help us to your life. Strange help us. Hallelujah. Was he praying? We are rounding up this prayer session. I want to pray for you. Brothers and sisters, if I tell you I do not know what the favor of God looks like, I will be lying to you. There is such a thing called the Esther anointing. God gave me this revelation in 2010 
that there is an anointing called the Esther anointing. The Bible says Esther found favor on everyone who looked at her. It was like a cloth she was wearing. Once you look at them, the mantle comes upon you. You must favor them. Listen, there is such a grace. When men make contact for as long as their eyes can see you, something must force resources from them. I pray for you in the name of the Lord God of heaven by the mystery of favor I see this falling on people receive the Esther anointing now, now, now receive the Esther anointing enough is enough I prophesy it inside, outside, everywhere online, receive the Esther anointing the Esther anointing strange favor strange testimony strange favor i prophesy it let it enter your spirit i activate it let it work in your life strange favor strange favor strange favor strange favor strange favor, strange favor. Listen, if you want to pay your way through life, you will die young. It's not about being rich. It's about being favored. It's not all about money. There are some things money cannot do. Are we together? Favor. We are going to pray for speed. It's a grace that makes men run and do so much in a short time. Listen. There is a cause of retrogression in many families and many lives. It's not that they are stagnated but they are moving too slow. When a man buys his first car at 70 years, it's not a testimony. Are we together? When our parents at 65 are still looking for money to complete lintel it's a cost many parents are waiting for their children to build for them but the bible says a good man leaves an inheritance for his children's children i want to pray for you there is such a thing as speed there is such a thing as speed some of us are moving god is helping us but if you are to be sincere your pace is slow financially is too slow in every wise ministerially is too slow entrepreneurially is too slow it's too slow are we together a woman can give birth to give birth to three children in 20 years is not a testimony are we together you take in five years after your marriage first child seven years later that's when you can take in again nine years later that's when the third one comes you are now using your pension to pay the secondary school fees of, of children. It's a cost. Are we together? The Lord must send speed to our lives. Some of us, the, the things you planned from January till now, not one. You have not ticked it one. No, you need grace. There, there is a grace that accelerates men. Are we together? Let me share this with you with all humility. I went to check my list of the things that I was trusting God would do in my life. I found out that certain things that were least for other years, God had gone ahead to start doing them. And I said, Lord, you are faithful. And the Lord said, if you trust me, I can surprise you to the end of the year. That's what God said. And I believe it for us all. We're praying. We've been trusting God for a place of counseling, you know, because of the crowds that come. And just last week, a family, I think they are represented here. Just came and met us and said they wanted to give us their whole church facility to be using for counseling at no charge. That's the gift of men. Are we together? The gift of men. There's a song in my heart. I'm not Yoruba. You know the song? Who knows the song? We need to sing that song. Do you know the song? Send it out a beer. Send it out a beer. 
So don't be afraid of time. Praise the Lord. It's part of the wicked, stupid things that poverty does for people. God wants to bless you. You are thinking we curse that spirit in the name of Jesus. Focus and concentrate. We are blessed enough to take you home. Don't rob yourself of the miracle. Are you hearing what I'm saying? I want to speak from the depth of my heart. You need speed. This prayer session is important. You need speed in your life. Some of us, you are too slow. Everything you do is like the spirit of a tortoise you are limping when others are flying the bible says they that wait upon the lord they will renew their strength he said they will mount up with wings as eagles riding through the current i pray for you in the name of jesus christ there is a grace that makes men catch up some of you is not even speed what you need is restoration first before speed are we together hallelujah someone we used to know many years ago we had the opportunity of seeing that person this year and when we saw that person this year it was an apology it was horrible he was looking like a thief after many years do you know it's a terrible thing for you to be growing older and nothing is growing with you the only thing growing in your life is your age it's a cause are we together don't say you are too young to be blessed don't allow the curse that came with your village where the first person to take his head out of the water did it at 40 and they say you are too young too young for what you are not too young for trouble why should you be too too young for blessings when trouble comes people say it's all right but when blessings come they say well, how did this happen i want to pray with, for you let a, a dimension of speed that will make men ask you what are you using i pray for you in the name of jesus christ at the count of three may that unction for speed honestly from my heart let it fall on people lord i'm praying at the count of three release grace oh god move your people forward one two three take that grace now take that grace right now help them speed Speed, speed, Shaparakata. Speed, I command speed. Where you have been crawling, start running, start running, start running. Where you have been running, start flying, start flying by prophecy, start flying by prophecy, start flying, pursue overtake recover without fail i prophesy to you pursue overtake pursue overtake pursue overtake recover thank you for lifting thank you for lifting thank you for lifting thank you for lifting my head. Thank you for lifting. 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 My head. In two minutes, I'd like you to thank God. Expressions of deep gratitude. Lord, I thank you. Speak to Him in your language. Expressions of deep gratitude. Thank you, Jesus. I have prayed it. My hands will handle it. I have prayed it. 
my hands will handle it I have prayed it my hands will handle it Hallelujah. 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 Please let me have your attention, everybody. There are people here right now. I'm going to make an altar call, two altar calls in one. Please, no moving around. Let's respect what God is doing now. There are people here. Probably you just came the first time you have been here. You have never truly made a commitment. Please listen. Don't be distracted, people outside. And many who are following us online, there are thousands of people following us online on our social media platforms. If you are here, please keep standing, everybody. I know we're tired, but let's keep standing to encourage them. There are people here who, whilst the service was going on as we were praying, the Holy Ghost was speaking to you and saying you need Jesus in your life. Listen, let me tell you something. Everybody is a product of God's grace and mercy. No man condemns you. But at the same time, he said, ye must be born again. Ye must be born again. Hallelujah. You are here, you've never made that commitment. Or at one point, you've made the commitment, but then for some reason, you found yourself living the things of God. You were angry at God. You were offended. Several things happened in your life. And you're saying, Lord, I'm coming back to you. Wherever you are, these two categories, it's my pleasure to lead you to Jesus. Please make it fast. Our time is gone. There are people outside. Koinonia, appreciate them. The Holy Ghost is speaking to them. Don't wait for anybody to come out. You are the first. Take that bold step and make your way to the front very quickly. Very quickly. Inside and outside, if there are people coming, clear the way for them. Very quickly. God bless you. God bless you. Thank you. God bless you. God bless you. I believe there are still many more people. Make your way to the front. Those outside, in any of the overflows outside. Don't say I'm so far. That's the lie of the devil. You're welcome. Make your way to Jesus. Run to Jesus like there's fire on the mountain. God bless you. God bless you as you come. God bless you as you come. Shame on the devil. Win that war over your destiny tonight. And let him give you a new beginning. Let him give you a new beginning. Hallelujah. If you are still joining them, make your way. Those of us in front, thank you so much. I love you and I salute you for coming. Lift your right hand and say it after me. Very boldly, you are not reciting a poem. Say, Lord Jesus, I love you and I believe in you. I believe that you are the Son of God. Tonight, I ask for your mercy. I ask for your grace. I receive Jesus into my heart as my Savior and my Lord. And I declare that from today, I am a child of God. I'm saved. I'm washed by the blood. From today, the Lord gives me a new beginning. I am a member of the household of faith. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. I appreciate every one of you. Thank you so much for making this lovely decision. It's the greatest decision you will ever make in your life. Now, very quickly, there's a gentleman waving his hands. They are going to direct all of you. So please make sure you follow them and they'll have your details. They'll welcome you and then we'll get in touch with you. Thank you so much. We love you and congratulations.